In this video, you will learn how to access and use the various features inside of the QuickTime app. There are different ways to find or access the QuickTime app. You can go to your launch pad and you can click inside the other folder and access it from there. You can also use Spotlight Search and do a command spacebar and type in the word QuickTime and it will find it for you. QuickTime Player is one of those apps that's mainly used to watch uh, videos or movies that you have on your device but it's all and also used for audio but a lot of people don't know that we can use QuickTime to create video and audio. When you first open it up you will have the finder window open and that means that you can actually search here for your any video or audio that you may have on your computer to play it through QuickTime. But to create, we're going to go ahead and cancel this window, this finder window. And up at the top on the Apple menu bar, you're going to click on File. Inside a file, we have three options. We have new movie recording, new audio recording, and new screen recording. You can do any of those three with using the QuickTime app. If I click on new movie recording, it will open up a window and you will see the camera. You might have to allow the camera, if this is the first time you use it, make sure you click OK or allow so that you're able to use the camera. On here at the bottom, you, you have the record control right here and you also see your level meter, your sound meter. So this should be uh, pinging going up and down like this so that you know that you have audio. If you don't have audio, then you can click on this drop down menu arrow and you can make sure you have your camera selected. If you have an external camera, you can select that camera and also your microphone. Okay, so you want to be careful that you select your microphone. If you have an external mic, you should be able to uh, choose it from here as well. And then you have your quality as preset to high. Uh, you really don't need max for this. High should be good enough. Okay, and all you do is you start recording. Hello, students. My name is Mr. Morales, and I will be your teacher for this school year. We will be learning about everything in fourth grade. And you press stop, and now you have your movie. Hello, students. My name is Mr. Morales, and I will be... Okay, once you do that, you're going to file, save, or export as, and you actually, you're going to export it, and you want to export it as no higher than 720. In this case, that's all I get. But if you have the option for 1080 or 4K, you really don't need it to be that high. I'm going to use 720. I'm going to title this. And I'm going to select a folder. If I don't see the folder in this drop down menu, I can always click on the down arrow here, expand my finder window, and then choose where I want to place this. And so, depending on how long this movie is, uh, that's how long it's going to take to export. Once you're done, you can close this out. It's going to ask you if you want to save this particular file. If you already have your file ready, then you don't need to save this one. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. That's one thing you can do with the QuickTime Player. If we click on File again, we have the new audio recording. This is if you wanted to record an audio message for your students. So I can click New Audio, or your students wanted to record an audio message because they have the same capabilities. If I click on new audio, again, there's no video here, but I can see that my voice is being uh, picked up by the microphone. If there's nothing happening here in this meter, then you can click the down arrow and make sure you, ch you choose the microphone and your quality. Again, high is a good quality. And all you have to do is press the record button and you are now recording your audio. Okay, so once you're done, you press the stop. And you can hear that, play that back. And you are now recording your audio. Okay, so once you're done, you press the stop. Again, you go file, export as audio only in this case, because that's all it is. And then we save this. Whatever you want to call it. Now it is saved. When I click the red Skittle to close it, it's going to ask me if I want to save it. I've already did, so I can delete this file right here. 
The last but very important feature in QuickTime Player is called New Screen Recording. Now this has changed a bit since your macOS Mojave version and, and it's now a bit different than the macOS Monterey. When you do New Screen Recording, you're actually going to bring up your screen recording tool, the screenshot tool. So it's not going to look the same as it did in Mojave. So I want to make sure that you see this. So I'm going to click on New Screen Recording. And so now you see the screenshot tool. That's this guy up here. This is our capture tool uh, that we had talked about in the previous video. You have the option to take a screenshot, an entire screenshot, a partial screenshot, or actually a, a window screenshot, and then a partial screenshot. But you also have the ability to record your screen, your entire screen. So that's going to be important because I can record the whole thing here, my whole screen, which is what I'm doing now to create this video. Or I can select a portion if I wanted to. I, I, can, I can select which area I want to record. The one thing you want to be uh, careful with here is your microphone. So when I click on Options, I want to make sure that my microphone does not say none. The first time you use this feature, it will say none, and you can record a five-minute video and not have any audio. So you want to make sure you open up the options and you at least choose the built-in microphone. If you have an external mic, it should show up in here as well. The other things that you can choose here in options is where is it going to be saved? Normally it's saved to desktop, so you can select desktop, or you can say other location and choose any file. You do have in the option for a five second countdown or a 10 second countdown. I'm just going to choose a five. And then you have these other options to show the floating thumbnail, to remember my last selection, and to show my mouse clicks. All I have to do now is press record. Notice it says five seconds for the countdown. So there I go. Four, three, two, one. Hello, students, and welcome to my class. This year we will be looking at the website Schoology. So I could have whatever I wanted them to see up here and uh, this would be recorded. There is a stop button up here at the top. I'm going to press stop. It's going to create that movie. So just like a screenshot I can come in here and play this movie. My class. This year we will be looking at the website Schoology. So I could have whatever I wanted them to see up here and uh, the so you have those options. You have your audio option. You can share it to a, uh, uh, another desk, another screen, or an uh, Apple um, TV or something like that. So I do have those share screens. I actually can set the playback speed up here at the top. These options up here. I can trim just like I could in the old QuickTime, the, the Mojave QuickTime. I can actually trim the beginning and the end of this film if I needed to. Okay, so now that film has been saved in my desktop. One thing we, we uh, did rather easily in the previous version of Mac OS in Mojave was to be able to do a picture-in-picture. -picture. It can still be done, but uh, you, you're going to have to time this just right. So I'm going to open up my Google Chrome. I'm going to go to Schoology. And I'm going to record myself going through my Schoology course for my new students. So again, I'm going to open QuickTime. And if you if you use QuickTime uh, quite a bit, if you're going to like using this app, then I can drag it down to the dock. Just drop it in there. And now I'm going to open it. Again, I am going to cancel this Finder window. I have to do two things. First, I have to set up a new screen recording. And then I have to set up a new movie recording so that I can record the screen, but also record myself if I wanted to put myself in the movie. So here you go. We're going to do a new screen recording. Okay. And I'm going to do a portion screen recording. I want to grab just the Schoology window. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to have to start the recording 
and start and do file new movie recording so that I can have this. That means it's going to throw off my timing. But remember, I can trim the beginning of this movie so it doesn't look too weird. So I'm going to start the movie recording here. Once that starts, I'm going to go File, New Movie Recording. It's going to have my movie. I'm going to make this smaller, as small as I can get it. Maybe move myself off to the corner over here or down here at the bottom. And then I've lost a few uh, seconds here. I don't have to press Record here. I'm already recording in the background. And if it goes away for some reason, then one thing that I do want to do that I forgot to do was go to View, and I'm going to float on top on this movie so that if I do click on the uh, Schoology window, this doesn't go away. All right, so now I can start talking. Hello, students. Welcome to the 2023-2024 school year. This year, we're going to be talking about blended learning. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our course so that I can go over the materials that can be found in this course. So this course is set up by workshops and units, and you can see these Workshops and units here. We're going to see some modules. And inside those modules, we're going to have activities and we're going to have uh, things to turn in, assignments, and all that stuff. Okay, so I've recorded. I'm going to go ahead and press stop. It's going to create my movie. Okay, I can close this window now. I don't need that. I did record a lot in between that. I'm going to have to fix that. So I will have to trim this movie somehow. So again, I'm going to go to edit down here at the bottom, and I'm going to trim. Okay, so I want to get to this point right here with, where I start speaking. Hello, students. Welcome to the... And so there's my movie. So I was able to do a picture-in-picture -picture by having... Here's the actual uh, screen that I want to record, but I've also inserted myself in this movie. That's something you want to do for your students to see you, your parents to recognize, say, oh, that's Mr. Morales, or that's whoever that is, then you can go ahead and do a picture in picture. It is a little bit more complicated in the Mojave, in the um, Monterey version versus the Mojave. It was a lot easier in the Mojave, but it can be done, and you just have, once you create your movie, you're going to go to, to edit up here, and you're going to trim and get to that perfect point. All right, so those are the three options within the QuickTime Player, new movie, new audio, and new screen recording. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact your instructional technology specialist.